Magnetic resonance imaging, or an MRI, is an examination that creates a detailed look inside of your body. Unlike CT or X-rays, MRI does not use radiation, which can be harmful with repeated or high-dose exposure. Instead, an MRI uses a magnet to gather images of your body from different angles. MRIs are common. They provide useful information to your physician about your organs and structures inside of your body. For most MRI exams, you won't need to prepare or do anything differently. You can eat and take your medications normally before your exam. When you arrive at Moffitt, you will check in, you'll fill out a questionnaire, and then change into a gown. It's important to remove all accessories, including watches, jewelry, and hairpins. Also remove things like wigs, dentures, and hearing aids. Please tell your MRI technologist about any metal or electronic devices you may have in your body. These may affect the image quality or pose a safety hazard. Before the exam, the MRI technologist will confirm some of your health information and answer any of your last minute questions. Before entering the MRI machine, you'll step in front of a metal detector to make sure there's nothing magnetic on your body. For the exam, you'll lie down on a table that slides into the MRI. You'll be given headphones so you can listen to music when the MRI machine starts making noise. The technologist will try to make you as comfortable as possible, so if you need an extra pillow or support under your legs, let him or her know before the exam starts. To get clear images, a device called a coil may be placed around the part of your body that's being examined. The table will then slide right into the opening of the magnet. Your technologist will monitor you from another room. You can talk to them using a microphone. During the exam, it's important to remain as still as you possibly can and breathe quietly without moving your head or body to reduce the amount of motion. Even if the exam is paused and the technologists come into the room, it's important to remain in the same position. If your body is in a slightly different position, even if by an inch, the image can become inaccurate and difficult for the radiologist to interpret. Motion, especially during the critical portions of the exam, may cause the entire MRI to be inadequate and require you to undergo additional imaging. Remember, just do the very best you can, and if you need to move, make sure to tell your technologist before you do anything, so they can stop the exam and repeat any images if needed. For some examinations, a specific MRI contrast is injected into your veins to enhance the appearance of certain tissues or blood vessels. The technologist will let you know before this occurs, though. It's typically about halfway through the exam. Depending on the type of image, your technologist may instruct you to perform different breathing techniques. For example, you may be asked to hold your breath completely for several seconds or take regular shallow breaths during a portion of the exam. Breathe. Take in a breath and hold it. By holding your breath, your organs stay put while the images are obtained. The outcome will be much more clear. This way, your physician will have a better chance of getting the most information from the images. The technologist will let you know when to hold your breath and when you could breathe quietly. Breathe. Just follow these instructions, and if you feel like you need to rest or can't hold your breath any longer, remember you can always talk to the technologist through the microphone. Just do the very best that you can. The entire examination may last between 30 and 90 minutes. Once you're finished, you may be asked to stay while the images are reviewed to make sure no additional imaging is required. Once the review is done, you'll be able to leave and go on with your day.